wisdom. And where does wisdom fit into this whole program that you're talking about? There's definitely now sacredness and spirituality. There's aspiration. There's transformation. You know, there's you, people have to have to have the you know they have to have the right insight. They have to discern. Use this as a tool, not crawl into the hole. But where, like more explicitly now, more focally, where, 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 how does wisdom fit into this for you? I suppose the first response I have to that is I'm a thir- I'm 38 and I jump uh, between trees. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like wisdom is such an interesting word. I, like I've I've been insightful for most of my life, I guess. Right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, my mom tells stories about like going on walks with me and like finding me discussing the nature of God with people when I was four years old. Yeah. 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 You, you, that's clear. You're very yeah. good person. And so at 16 years old, so, um, I actually, the first religion that I got involved in, the, the only religion I've really been involved in was a, um, was a native American sort of, um, uh, uh, recovery. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. Right. Yeah. Uh, but it was a bunch of, uh, of white people following this native American leader, Johnny Moses, um, doing something called Sisiwis. Um, so I was in this community and, and I was talking about my ideas, whatever those ideas were at the time. And a lot of people would tell me that I was wise. Right. And, and it just stuck in my craw because how could a 16 year old be wise? I had no experience for me. Wisdom was, was experience married to insight. Yeah. Yeah. At the time. Um, I, I love the way that you've articulated wisdom. Um, I don't know that, I mean, I don't know that, that I've, that I've, that I've integrated into the way that I'm thinking about what I'm doing. I want, I want to afford people insight generation, yep. which obviously is very deeply connected to that. And I think, I mean, there's this idea, one of the things that I ask is, do people do the right, th- it's the Nietzschean question, right? Yeah. Um, most of morality is just cowardice. Yeah. I, I feel like we, we, we've lived through the easiest times in human history and maybe that's ending. <laughs> yeah. 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 But, but people, most people behave well in these nice times, not because they have a well cultivated virtue and wisdom and, and ethics, but because the game is set up so that that's what's rewarded to some degree. Yeah. 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 And, and I think that if you can set the game up to reward good behavior, that's great but you want to build also the people such that even when the game shifts, when things change, that's still what's rewarded. And I have this, or at least rewarding. I don't see wisdom, right? I don't, I don't see our political class as wise. I don't see our academic class as wise. And I also see, I mean, I'm getting a little passionate here, but I see cowardice everywhere. Mm, I see people who, who, who have, who are not willing to look deeply at themselves, who are not willing to try hard things, who are not willing to, to take on difficult questions, who, who, who are not guys that I'd want beside me in a shield wall. Right, 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 right. And I think it's because, because they haven't had the chance to test themselves and to grow themselves. And because our, because there has to be something, you know, more, uh, there has to be something we're aspiring to, and there has to be systems that give us that opportunity for serious play, but also a necessity for discipline. Right. Um, and that, that that's that's ultimately what I'm interested in is that 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 cultivation of virtue through practice, and and one of those is 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 wisdom. But I would say that in the in the ecology of 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 the cultivation of virtue, my role. And what my work has been about is more about courage mm. and your role is more about wisdom. Um, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. But I, 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 I want, and I'm, I'm very attracted to the idea of the synthesis, but I think that if I'm a, at least at this stage of my life, right. If I'm going to, to lead people on a path, I feel like the path around courage is the path that I'm most, most, um, most informed with, right? Most resonant with. Yeah, I'm, I, 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 f- I feel I have a, a, a subject matter expertise that I can fairly put myself in front of people there. And if people get wisdom from what I'm doing, and perhaps they do, then that's great. But to take on wisdom as at the center of it feels yeah. presumptuous. 
Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Well, I mean, we're all, we're all we are always and only supposed to be lovers. The whole point about the metaphor is we can't we can't win by playing the game. That's right. My way of trying to understand what it is to not play their game and to shift over to in a totally different game to shift the culture.